I'm out here in the new garden to update you in the progress of the cilantro. Look at how beautiful it's coming along. And judging by its size, as you can see, it has matured quite a bit, which is the reason why I decided to come out here and update you just to point out to you guys what happens when you plant too much of it too soon. And even though I use cilantro quite a bit in my kitchen, uh, this is a lot of cilantro. However, I'm not concerned about it because today I'm trimming most of it down to make some fresh homemade sofrito criollo. And since I'm not pulling it out of the ground, uh, anytime you trim it, the cilantro will come back up at least two, maybe three more times. So I will have more cilantro coming up, even though right over here, I have new cilantro that I planted. Uh, this one, I believe I planted about 10 days after planting this one. So this is what it looks like. And if this system is successful, at least the way I planned it in my head, I should have cilantro throughout the growing season. But I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like when the cilantro starts to bolt, which is this thick stem right here. This is what happens when the cilantro begins to bolt. And look at this one. It's nice and thick. I don't let any of this go to waste. I use everything, but because I'm going to be trimming it, you know, and I'm gonna cut down most of the cilantro. It won't go to waste, okay? Right over here, what I was trying to show you guys before is the tomatoes, which I'm certain have some sort of a bug. I saw some butterflies earlier today, so I know they probably laid some eggs, and I definitely have to tend to the tomatoes sometime today. And right about here is the Cherokee purple tomatoes that I planted and I really can't wait to see what those look like. The horseradish is looking wonderful. The cassava and the leeks and just about everything that I planted in the garden. Um, I am trying something different. So what I will be doing besides trimming the cilantro is I'm going to start more seeds on a different side of the garden in stages. I believe in gardening that's called staggering. I'm not really sure if that's correct. If you know exactly what that term is, correct me in the comments below. But the potatoes are looking great. Again, we have to tend to them because this is around the time when the bugs start to have a feast in your garden. So you have to come out to the garden every single day and inspect your veggies especially your tomatoes, um, even the cilantro. I've noticed that uh, some of those slugs will attach themselves to the root of the cilantro. And even though I have marigolds throughout the garden, I still get some of those bugs in the garden. Check out these dwarf pepper plants that I have right here. I bought them because I thought they were the cutest thing. And I laid them in the ground. Someone told me that I should have removed the pepper but since I'm testing this side of the garden I'm not too concerned with that here's more tomatoes and of course this is just part of it because I'm in Florida I can get away with starting new seeds throughout the season and since I'm pretty much just testing my gardening skills, you know, I'm not afraid to try new things. And right over here, what I was doing earlier today is on the other side of the garden, which is what I called my test garden bed, I started some pots. And on these pots, I started some cabbage seeds that I'm hoping I'm successful with. And I tried a new technique. This is not something I've seen anywhere else, nor did I read about it anywhere. I just used a little bit of my common sense. But I started the seeds in the little pots right on the ground, except that I dug a hole to put the pots in it. Okay? So what you're looking at is 12 opportunities to grow some cabbages. So very excited. 
really can't wait to see what these look like and very soon I will be picking these arugula seeds which is these right here some of them are dry so what I do is every week I come into the garden and I collect the seeds that are ready and because the arugula went to seed as you can see here and over there I decided to plant the cabbages in between because by the time these come up the arugula seeds should be dry and I should be done collecting them right there we have a leek that I planted also from a store-bought leek so I cut the bottom and basically buried it on this bed since this seems to be my test garden bin I went ahead and I buried it and look at it it's coming along nicely check out the alfalfa the alfalfa I use for my drinks I dehydrate it and I turn it into powder so I add it to the soup stew you can also use it as a salad and it's delicious so if you've never tried growing alfalfa give it a shot alfalfa is a very good herb to grow in your garden especially if you're testing things out like me because every time you trim it um, in about a week or so you end up with more and this one's been here since last year if I'm not mistaken and it is worth every penny you invest in those seeds and check out this beautiful rosemary bush that I trimmed down significantly but I may have to trim it even more because as the rosemary gets older it becomes a little brittle and you definitely have to trim it just to give it a little bit of TLC and right about here is the habaneros which are not doing very good but I believe is because of the heat I think they're getting too much Sun and too much heat so I'm still trying to decide what to do with it for now I'll just continue to enjoy the habaneros okay you guys that's about it with the update like I said I tried doing a live to update you in the progress of the cilantro but the internet connection has been horrible in the past week so I had to cut the feed and do it this way okay check out these jalapenos I think I'm going to be making some salsa today. I have the cilantro, the tomatoes. I just need some red onion and we're good to go. Until next time, I'm Evita. Cooks and gardens, you really have to try it.